hello. So, as you all know, or you may not know, I don't know if you really know this, but this month is National Poetry Month. I saw something in my window and I was just like, mm. For the whole month of April, I've decided that I will be sharing with y'all, with you all, my poetry. I'm gonna do it for the whole month of April, once a week, bing, bing, boom. A poem a month, a poem a week. Jeez, months, weeks. What's time? Hmm. I'm gonna do one every week. At least every week. You know, that's my minimum. And if I don't get to one a week, I'll transfer that one that I would miss to next week and that'll just be more for me. <sighs> but it's for you. It's for you all. It's for you guys. So, what I'll be doing today is not a poem. Sorry. I'll leave that to next week. I'll be doing the history of poetry. History of slam poetry. History of spoken word. Um, what poetry means to me. All that. I don't know if you can hear this. I have a little monkey just dancing. It's solar powered. But it's annoying me. So I, I don't know. You can really hear that. But I'm gonna do the history of poetry and what poetry means to me. Uh, uh, yeah. So let's get right into it. What poetry means to me? Well, to me, poetry is a way of expressing yourself creatively in a way that isn't drawing or singing or painting or it's it's easy to do but it's hard to master like yeah you can get up there and be like I like fries and when I don't have fries it makes me want to cry and I may die if I eat too many fries but I'll keep on eating my fries and you know it doesn't even have to rhyme no I like fries and I like potatoes and I like chicks. I like chicken. I like corn. And I like mashed potatoes and potatoes and potatoes and potatoes. It's, just, it's free. It's free to do what you want to do. And that's what spoken word is. But I like spoken word and I like to write poetry and it's just a way of expressing myself and I can say it however I want. I can be blunt but I can be low key blunt so I, so I can be talking about something I can be like man I don't really like your shoes but I can say it in a way that they don't even know if I'm talking about them I'm like and those people with the crocs they, they want to stop and say ah, that's not hot or something like that I don't know I don't, I don't really know my, my knee just came up because that was really, I don't know, it was really awkward, but it was awkward to me. But yeah, that's what spoken word means to me. The difference between spoken word and poetry. Spoken word is meant to be performed and done with... <clears throat> Ah, uh, you're getting to the your uh, poetry. Just regular poetry is more of you speaking to the audience and the audience taking in your words. Like yes, yes, I love your words. Beautiful. Now, spoken word is more of a performance. It's more of acting out your words and giving expressions, your face and ha ya ya. And all that. You don't sing though. If you want to sing, you can sing. Sing in the beginning. Just be like, um, and I was telling you, I was telling you, right? I was telling you about this time where I started to cry. And why was I crying? I don't really know why I was crying, but I was crying. 
Okay, I'm back. I was on difference between poetry and spoken word. And yeah, I think I'm past that now. I was doing I was doing it on the spot. On the spot. But I'm ready to finish that. Slam poetry. Now, first of all, if you if you walking, right? If someone walk up to you like, hey, you wanna join my uh you wanna come to this slam poetry session? It's it's for fun. You know, it's for fun. Mm mm. It's not for fun. It's not for fun. If if they if they say slam, it's not for fun. Slam is never for fun. It's not for fun if it's slam. I swear to you. Cause slams are only competition. So if they say it's for fun, you better come in there with your all. You better come in there ready to blow the place down. You better come with everything you got. If they say slam. You always, you always come with your all, you know? You always give your all when doing fucking work. I would say, from my heart, I would say, you always give your all, you know? And I'm learning to do that myself. I'm learning to do that myself. Repeat what I said. Let's go to the next thing. Who started spoken word? Mark Kelly Smith. Mark Kelly Smith. Mark Smith. They, uh, they were a Chicago artist who was also known as the Slam Pappy. He came, he coined the term Slam. Yeah, but Mark Kelly's from Chicago. Mark Smith, I mean. MKS is from Chicago. Um, he founded the first ever National Poetry Slam in 1990s and that competition still goes on today. Chicago Poetry. Mark Smith came up with the term slam poetry, has National Poetry Slam that he founded in 1990s. Um, it still goes on today. But the longest running longest running what is it? Open mic? I, I wouldn't call it open mic. But Green Mill is down I think north side Chicago and Wheats. Those are the two longest running poetry shows. Two longest run there you go. Poetry show. That's what I'm gonna call it. Those are the two longest ones in Chicago and they've been going on forty plus years. Yeah. I have never been. Um but Hey, maybe one day I will perform there. Uh, next week you'll be able to see some of my poems and I'll bring my all when doing them. Hey, I actually might think of doing one today. I don't know. I don't know, the line is really nice and I feel inspired. I feel like this video has been kind of long. Can you hear the beeping outside? The camera's right at the window. But the lighting looks so good. To me at least. To you it might be like, ah. But to me it looks like I have foundation and concealer on and I don't even wear makeup. But if I get closer then you'll, then you'll see something. I don't even want to see. But my smile even looks good. And this lighting, my hair, my everything it just looks good. But yeah, that's all the time I have for today, because this this video has been going pretty long. Um, comment down below what poetry means to you, what, if you do spoken word, um, all that, all, all that, just comment down below, just comment down below, you know, if you want to link me to a video of you doing your thing with spoken word, do it you know if you have more to add comment down below and I'll I'll go over that 
in next week's video. Peace out. I love y'all. This has been... I'm gonna use my poetry thing, which is Isis. This has been Isis. Follow me on here. Follow me on YouTube. This is YouTube, but <laughs> follow me on Facebook. And if you're not already following me on Insta, on Twitter, all that. So yeah. Love you guys. Oh, look at that. It turns into a heart. Uh -huh. Ah.